on the north edge of Tulsa's downtown, next to the jail and the day center for the homeless, you'll find the Salvation Army's Center of Hope. And here, upstairs in one of the homeless family units, we met Terry Zinn, just seven years old. He's watching one of his favorite movies again. For the past year, Terry and his mom and dad have called this place home as they struggle to find a place of their own. You are my brightest star. It's certainly not surprising that a little boy would be shy, fidgety, and a little confused. It's a really bad, but it's really good here. His mom, Jessica, says it hurts to watch her son day in and day out, experiencing what no child ever should. It's hard because he's older. And there's a lot of things that um, he shouldn't see. Yet Jessica and her husband, Bill, are so very grateful to be here in their desperate time of need. They were in the shelter's general population for a couple of months until one of the few family units opened up. Whether you're red and angry. And Terry and his mom and his dad have been staying here ever since. Never really thought I would ask for help. I never really wanted it. But, you know, you find yourself, everybody has tough times. And, uh, you know, you find yourself down and out. And, uh, you know, a little bit of help, it, it goes a long, long way. Bill works construction as much as his health allows but it's been painfully slow during the pandemic, he says. And severe back pain has kept Jessica from working as a nursing assistant for years. After being denied for disability, Sooner Care recently paid for surgery, but Jessica may need another, and then therapy. It's either choose to pay to go get an MRI or make sure that you have food in the house. I chose to take care of my family. <laughs> Through it all, though, Jessica says Terry keeps smiling, yet she knows he's hiding the hurt. No friends, no place to play, no home of his own. But you're smiling a lot. Yeah. How come? Well, because I got my mother and my dad. Mm. Love you, Mom. I love you, too. And it's those words, those kisses, that give Terry's mom and dad hope. You can see things through a, a child's eyes. It's not so bad, you know. <laughs> and on this day, hope would win. After nearly 365 days of homelessness, a homecoming of sorts. Today is the day Terry and his mom and his dad move out of the homeless shelter here at the Salvation Army. And they're moving into their own apartment here, several miles away, near 71st and Lewis thanks to one of Tulsa's many agencies dedicated to helping the homeless. A family is going from not knowing where they're sleeping tonight or if they're going to be able to protect their child to having a home of their own. Tina Massey heads up Family Promise of Tulsa County. With the help of federal dollars and much needed donations from charities and churches, it provides an apartment for homeless families as they get back on their feet for anywhere from 30 to 90 days. Family Promise provides essentials such as rent, food and transportation. That way, families can save, are required to save, 85% of the income from jobs they find for their permanent future home. Families just need a hand up, and that's what we're here for. We're here to hold their hand. The agency makes sure families have all the paperwork and documents they need to succeed, from birth certificates to IDs. And with rapid rehousing help from the Tulsa Day Center, the program pays for housing and utility deposits and any past due utility bills that could keep families from getting service again. Anything needed to help turn a family's sweat and tears into smiles. We try to build a tower. They are just totally different people. It's like, it's a, like watching this amazing transformation from a caterpillar to a butterfly. Oh no! Especially the children. It didn't take Terry long to meet new friends at his new home. I mean, it's great, and it's cool here because they have new friends, and there's a friend with a huge, huge water gun. It's great too, Terry says, as he tries to drink the rain with his new friends, <laughs> to have his own bedroom again, and to eat in his own kitchen. For Terry's mom and dad, it's all about their little boy, they say, who hopefully hasn't grown up too soon. You know, there's one thing that you always remember when you're grown up, it's that childhood, you know? The, your friends, the things that you did, and that's the, that's the great time in your life. 
and I want him to have that. So from the bottom of their hearts, Jessica and Bill and Terry say thanks. It's amazing that these people would, would do this, would help. Thanks to the many folks who've been there to help welcome them home. Pete Knutson, 2 News, Oklahoma, Problem Solvers.